Yes, I am using my VTuber model for my main channel. Deal with it. With the lawsuit arc officially ending, I decided it would be a good time to uh, rank every SMG4 arc that has ever been made so far. I think I got everyone. We're going to be ranking them through S through F, obviously with F being the lowest tier and S being the top tier. All right, so first off, we got the Waluigi arc. I am going to put the Waluigi arc at S tier. Wow, I'm so original. I think the Waluigi arc has a kind of a feel to it that no other arc has actually really accomplished in the show it's based on a meme yeah the arc does have its flaws in its writing a little bit but you know you can kind of excuse that because it is the first arc they've done and i think the hype for the waluigi arc was something that no arc so far has ever really like accomplished in a way you know it had a really really perfect near perfect wadfi very good character development between the casts uh, there was nothing too excessive going on and there was not much of a threat to the characters either it was just kind of a thing and it was super hype and i wish there was more arcs like the waluigi arc next up we have the rapper bob arc this is going to be controversial i know a lot of people don't like the rapper bob arc i think the main problem with the rapper bob arc was that it kind of just felt like it was building up and then it just didn't really do anything but other than that i think the bob rapper bob arc is really good because it's something that no other arc has really done you know it's very very lighthearted, and I think more arcs needed to follow the similar format where we don't necessarily need a super powerful villain like Zero SMG3 and stuff like that. We could have something simple like Rapper Bob. Uh, well, I wish, you know, the Kaizo story with Kevin's school was kind of more of an arc as well. That way we would have had another arc that doesn't really have that much of a villain. But considering there are the flaws there where it felt like it was building up to something and it didn't really do anything, it's definitely not my favorite arc. I'm just gonna put it in A tier. I think it's really, really solid. And that was about it. And the inclusion of Waluigi at the end was really fun to see as well. And I like what they did with that. All right, next up, we have the anime arc. Now, this is where things are definitely gonna get controversial. <laughs> just wanted to put this out here. This video is 100% my opinion. You don't have to agree with it. And I know people aren't going to agree with it, but I know this opinion is gonna be controversial. I like the anime arc. There, I said it. I like the anime arc, okay? <laughs> A lot of people hate the anime arc because Desti's death and the human Maggie transformation. However, if you do look past that, I think the arc had a really, really good story to it. Uh, the inclusion of Axel, uh, how it had multiple stories going on at once. It was essentially three different arcs and just one singular arc with multiple stories going across uh, different lines. And the fact that they all come together in the end and lead up to a devastating moment is really solid. They did an excellent job with storytelling for this arc. I like the setup with Francis. He's a really cool antagonist in a way. I like the anime cartel. I think the anime arc did something really special that no other arc has really achieved. The controversies with human Maggie and Desi's death is definitely puts this arc downward a little bit. I much rather prefer the earlier Maggie with her as an inkling, but I think human Maggie can be justifiable for the point of a narrative sense. And I like what they did with her up until Maggie's destiny. I, I think she was a really solid character overall throughout this time anyway. Destiny's death, while I agree it wasn't very much impactful, that's kind of like the only thing that's not really good in this arc. You have to give them credit though, it was technically their first serious permadeath. Kind of want to let that slide a little bit, and, but that does bring the arc down a little bit more. But if it wasn't for the execution of Destiny's death, this arc would probably be above the Waluigi arc. Definitely going to put this in S tier, just because I really found this arc super enjoyable it's just kind of like a giant butterfly effect you know peach's castle gets destroyed and then that leads up to Desti's death how does that happen all right uh, now i know this is also going to be controversial we have the youtube arc the youtube arc i oh boy the youtube arc it's i don't like it i'm sorry i like the concept of what they were going for smg3 as a villain as an antagonist i think it was it's a really cool idea for an arc and it's kind of an obvious thing to do as well but when this arc was first airing it kind of felt pointless at times uh, it didn't feel like it was really like progressing anything and by the time the arc ended it kind of felt like the only point of it was to give Maggie a voice however with the inclusion of the genesis arc it did give the 
YouTube arc a little bit more weight with SMG3 going to the internet graveyard. I really like that setup and it made the YouTube arc uh, feel a little bit more special to me. But I don't like things like the anti-cast, for example. The anti-cast felt really rushed in and the characters introduced in the anti-cast during the YouTube arc felt like clones of the already existing cast and thus as a result, these characters don't necessarily get that much development these days. For example, Rob, uh, his personality is just you know corn and it's kind of it's kind of repetitive now of course you could say the same thing with mario and his spaghetti but there's a big difference there mario doesn't mention the word spaghetti in every single sentence he speaks now of course rob wasn't introduced in the youtube arc but just using rob as an example bell probably the most pointless character of them all to be introduced uh it felt like just promotion for meta runner and also the oh my god the killing off of greg that was really hard i want to make a whole video on just Greg's death alone and how poorly executed that was. And it was super hard to understand whether to take Greg's death actually seriously or not. And unlike Desi's death, uh, which did provide development for Meggie, Mario kind of mourned for like two seconds and then he went on his way. It really wasn't that impactful. And why would Greg even end up being there in the first place if Mario's going back in time? And so that doesn't necessarily make sense. Now they did use that as weight later in the arc, but they just kind of drop the subject of Greg later. There was no strong indicator to actually take that seriously or not. I think I'm going to put the YouTube arc in the D tier here. It, I just don't necessarily like it. I It's just not something I'm really into. All right, so next up we have the Genesis arc, another controversial thing. I love this arc to death, man. I know that's going to be controversial when this video comes out. There was a lot of things wrong with the arc, though. You know, you did have the War of the Fat Italians inclusion, which definitely did not need to happen and it made the pacing of the arc go all over the place and you also had in the other universe where mario mentions smg zero by name it, it's weird i i don't really know how to explain it it's like why mention that when you could have easily just told that through smg one and two through dialogue when they were viewing the past so and that doesn't mean it really make much sense but i do love the stakes here of mario's death being on the line uh i do like the development between melanie and axel and they really got me invested into the story with this one um i did actually cry <laughs> during this arc uh and the final piece where melanie and axel had that moment it was really an emotional moment and the fact that in this arc they were able to get me properly attached to these characters and made me feel for these characters during these tough times it, it really is something else and i do also like the development of smg3 here too and i liked how he did kind of switch sides there and i think they did do that really well axel's possession was really dark uh, the backstory was executed okay, I think. I would have rather preferred it if they did explain Zero's backstory here because of how much hype was built up for it at the beginning of the arc, but I, I did enjoy this arc. Actually, you know what? I think this is higher than Rapper Bob. I'm going to put Rapper Bob on B tier, although my opinion on the arc doesn't really change. I'm going to put the Genesis arc on the A tier, just above the Rapper Bob arc. I'm only going to put this here so I can have a filler in for B tier here. All right, next up we have the Revelations arc. The Revelations arc, I really don't don't consider that much of an arc. <laughs> In fact, I, I do consider Kevin's school and Psycho's story to be more of an arc than the Revelations arc. I think it was the, this whole arc's purpose was to build up the movie, and the movie was great. Uh, I think it's a really, really solid ending to cosmology, but the build up to the movie felt really slow at times. It was kind of exciting as a build up at some points. Like, what was like the box club doing? And was Niles actually zero? But I just wish they did did flesh out the college a little bit more, you know, provide more weight to Meggie. This college idea is so good, but now it just feels like missed potential. Setting up stuff like Luigi's astral projection and Bob and IT, Boopkins, I think he went into therapy or some something like that. And I think it was, I think it was a good setup, but then the whole rest of the time they just focused on Melanie and then the college kind of became pointless after that point. And I think it has a lot of missed potential there, but the movie itself was really good. Good. Zero's backstory was also tremendously good. The movie kept me captivated the whole time. The arc though was kind of all over the place, so I think I'm gonna put this in C tier, even though I think if it was just a movie alone, I would put it probably up here somewhere. Considering we're weighing in via arcs, I would put this in the C tier, even though the movie is definitely better than the rapper Bob arc. All right, the last arc here. You already seen my review of this arc. I'm just gonna put it in F tier. <laughs> I don't even have to explain it. It's not good. It's, 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 
it's, it's really like the worst arc I think they've done. It feels like the whole point of this entire arc in as a whole is just to give redesigns to the characters and that's it. There was not much of a threat and it felt like it was filled with filler the whole time and it was kind of like reusing concepts we've already seen before and a lot of that stuff comes from the YouTube arc and since my opinion of the YouTube arc is you know not necessarily good I think it was really rushed and it wasn't really well thought out and especially when uh, when they introduced the contradictions to cosmology in this arc that really made me really upset I really did not like that then the whole time it was just focusing on Meggie SMG4 Mario with a little bit of Luigi and we've already seen development for all four of these characters it was just a bunch of missed potential I can't get behind this arc at all man I'm sorry that's my tier list subscribe all that good stuff check out my actual lawsuit arc review if you're more into that kind of thing